Welcome to lockdown vlog number 21. Yes, we have had 20, so why not move on to 21? Um, I'm getting a lot of respect for people who make daily vlogs because it's quite a thing to get and try and make it interesting um, every day again. Because of course I have showed you my system but I always think, well, they have seen it by now. I have a little setup for today's vlog and I'm afraid to, today's vlog may become a bit of a mess because there's too much that I would like to say and I don't know if I can keep my story uh, straight but somebody um, in the comments asked me how about snake oil? What is it that you consider snake oil? Now, if I'm ever going to um, answer that question, it will be in a video because there's too many things that I would need to say or show you guys in order to make the point about what is and what is not uh, snake oil. Um, also, the, if you look at the people who call things snake oil, there's a few categories. One of the categories, for example, you probably have seen them in the comments every now and then. They will just write down one word, snake oil. That's all, just one word. And maybe if you look at the video, you may understand what he or she <coughs> is, talk is, <coughs> excuse me, is talking about. But just saying one word, it is not even an argument. It just isn't so those people are probably not even interested in having a conversation about why it may not be snake oil also there's a lot of people that call uh, things that are just expensive more expensive than they are willing to pay they call it snake oil now from the origins snake oil is something that has uh, is said to have a property um, it will go it will make your cough go away it will make you healthy something like that when they first uh, had the snake oil people selling them um, so it's something that does nothing and they tell you it does something an expensive cable is just working and some of the electrical engineers will tell you well if you can't measure it, if I can't measure it, it's not there. And this is strange because, for example, I am sitting right over there in my listening position and I'm trying out some different cables. I just picked up some of my collection uh, for today. I am changing those cables. I'm sitting over there and I experience differences. Now, I do not know why, but I do know that I experience differences. And then what an electrical engineer actually says is, well, if I can't measure it, you can't hear it, which is strange for me sitting there, hearing, experiencing those differences. And also they will say something like, well, all cables, are the same and just look in the comments uh, uh, at any audio form in the next sentence they will say just make sure it has a big enough gauge and just make sure that resistance is uh, like this and like this and I always I'm always like wait a minute they are different or they are not different if you have to consider gauge and resistance it already has answered the question do cables make a difference or what they will say is this cheap cable measures the same as this more expensive cable and because it measures the same you cannot hear a difference and here's my problem and that's what I want to address today and there's 20 more topics that connect to this thing and you can all discuss it in, in, in the comments. 
but if I'm going to make a video out of uh, uh, about this it is going to be 30 minutes at, at, at least but here's one thing a point that I would like to make for example you are listening to this cable and you are listening between an a pre amplifier and a power amplifier now the thing is the thing is you are not only listening to that cable you are listening to a pre amplifier connected on one side to that cable you are listening to the cable and then connected to the power amp and then of course there is a loudspeaker cable going to the loudspeaker from the power amp and there is of course another cable from a source going into the preamplifier so this cable when connected to this preamp and that power amp will interact with that preamp and that power amp so if we change from that preamp to that preamp or if we change from that preamp to that uh, passive preamp they all will have a different connection reaction to this cable so that's already a variable what have you been listening to how many different things did you try and um, if you only listen to one cable or even if you didn't even listen to it and only measured it which would be a shame really stupid um, if you listen to one of these and then maybe to that power amp or maybe to that power amp and maybe you know you're using the Wilsonton as a power amp they will all have a different um, way of connecting to this cable and the mechanical and electrical properties of all these uh, pieces of equipment all these devices will be different what kind of plugs are you using what is the quality of the plugs what kind of plugs do they use over there to plug your cable into and what is the quality of it there was this nice video from Audioholics about um, banana plugs you know these things and the way that they uh, expand or not so if you put them in your uh, connection how much pressure will there be from the connector to the connector that is in the loudspeaker and what he showed you is that the uh, resistance differs uh, becomes lower if the pressure is better so maybe you have been listening to a cable that does not have good pressure and now you are going to um, tell something about that cable while all you did was actually experiencing a bad connection the quality you see now more and more people saying well maybe it's the quality of the uh, the connectors that will make a difference so you can understand that if you have 10 different kind of connections if you have 100 different kind of preamps and power amps and you are only talking about one connection from one cable and then you dare to make a judgment on this is good or this is bad I think that is the actual uh, snake oil people just saying well I measured it I didn't find anything so you can't hear it so the last so what the point that I'm making is that you are not only listening to a cable you are listening to a at a minimum it is coming from one device going to another device now even the mechanical or electrical properties of the preamp or the power amp may then even change 
when the loudspeaker cable is changed it may have an effect on this connection again so there's so many variables to say okay this is a good cable this is not a good cable or to even say cables do not make a difference because this is the last thing that i'm going to uh, going to say so i'm sitting there i'm experiencing differences this electrical engineer is only measuring one cable and he says well it measures the same as this cheap cable therefore you do, do not hear a difference so the problem there is you are only listening to one variable but there's power coming from the wall to your um, power strip going to your source going to your DA converter going to your preamp going to your power amp and all if they are changed can have a different effect on what this cable is doing um, and the last point the very last point that I want to make is I when I sit there and I hear I experience this difference and somebody says to me well I measured this cable there's no difference therefore you don't hear a difference my first question is always I do experience differences why do you think that measuring this cable is exposing the measurements that are responsible for the differences that I am experiencing why do you think that only measuring that is the answer to the question why do I hear why do I experience a difference because it may not be in there it may be because when you connect it to a different uh, device it may change the end result and the end result is of course what we hear coming out of the loudspeakers and why not will this cable be a better match for that amplifier connected to a specific um, loudspeaker cable and maybe if we change the loudspeaker cable you will get a different result result meaning what i'm hearing there not different result in what i'm measuring here so if i connect a different loudspeaker cable over here I'll probably have the same measurements on this um, cable but the results may differ so to all the electrical engineers what do you think is responsible for the, uh, the differences that I um, hear when listening to different cables and i know a lot of you will now say yeah bias bias it's all in your head well this has never been tested and this is why i explained if i'm going to address this it will take me at least half an hour because they will say it's bias it's like um what you call it when you when you have a, pe a group of people um, taking a medicine and the other group is not taking the medicine and you see if there is a difference and uh, people are uh, biased but those tests are designed in a completely different way than what people will try to explain you about uh, blind listening to um, to cables because placebo is measured for um, medicine and you cannot one-on-one -on -one say therefore bias is also part of listening to uh, uh, different cables and different groups and blind listening but that is a complete other video but there's so many things before i even start about uh, snake oil there's so many things about people calling things snake oil but that's one of the videos that i'm going to do one day but not this day i hope because i saw the video at andrew last time after i made my video about what is an audiophile and well it was 
clear there's still a lot of work to do for people to understand for people like me to make people understand what is and what is not an audio file my point was you are not only listening to a cable it is also dependent on what kind of gear is before and at the end of the cable and that may also be what is